Cooking a dinner for your immediate family can be stressful enough, but imagine your first time cooking dinner for 12, Thanksgiving dinner, like CityLine viewer Karen. She emailed, CityLine, I need your help. Randy and Leanne were up to the challenge. Randy and I are here to help one lucky viewer cook Thanksgiving dinner. Hey, I'm gonna cook the turkey, you're gonna dress the table. Leanne, grab the turkey, please. I never come empty handed, I've got flowers too. What do you think? You're such a turkey. That's the biggest one I've seen. Let's you go. You said grab the turkey. I am hosting my very first Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm having my family over, which is uh, 12 people. So it's going to be a big dinner. Karen, this is Turkey 101, and I believe we have to brine it. I've never cooked a turkey before, so I'm not too sure what brining is. OK. Well, if you're, if you're going to get into this thing, we got to get it right. Once you brine, you can't go back. It's, uh, it's the most magical thing in the world. Basically, what we're doing is we're adding salt and we're adding moisture to the bird. And when you cook the bird, that moisture stays in. So when you're carving it, it's just like this tender, delicious thing that you never actually understood was turkey because you were eating maybe your mother's your entire life. Sorry, Mom. Karen, here's our beautiful brine bird. It was in the little salt bath overnight. A little bit of brine inside is okay because it's nice and salty as well. It's kind of pre-seasoning the bird. How you doing? <laughs> Next, we have to get our stuffing ready. So in front of you, I've got three types of pork, three types of onions, and three types of herbs. Throw them in the pot. So we didn't cook the stuffing, and this works for two reasons. You can prep it all ahead, and then when it comes time to do it, you just can kind of put it into the bird. But we did different types of bread. So we had a sourdough, we had a whole wheat, and we had a focaccia, something that's gonna have a little bit of hardiness to it so it keeps its shape. So this part kind of gets a little dry because we didn't bake it. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I call it my, my uh, salami insurance. I just take this, and I'm like, here you go. You just cover that little bit of bread there so it doesn't burn, and it gets kind of crispy and salami, and then that's the cook's treat when it comes out, and boop, <laughs> no one ever knows. It looks great. <laughs> That door for me, please. Well, that turkey is around 12, 14 pounds. So we're going to start it at 450 for an hour. We're going to bring it down to 325 for another hour and a half. I think the best tip I can give everyone about cooking a turkey for Thanksgiving is do not overcook it. And you know, everyone's afraid to bring the temperature up, but you can bring the temperature up really high in the beginning and then just after an hour, bring it down. And then you can do your slow cook.